What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this portable toilet from Dometic. It's nice, small and compact and made to go anywhere with you. So if you're taking your camper out, you don't have a bathroom in there, if you're just camping in a tent in the woods, or even if you're on your boat, you need to go to the bathroom, you want the comforts of home, this will go with you. We're using the five gallon tank today. It does come in a smaller one at two and a half gallons. And that might be good for if it's just one person or if you're just buying it for emergency uses only. But I would suggest the five gallon tank because good for families and you don't want to have to go to the dump station every single day. You can at least wait a couple days to go before you dump this one. So the plan here today is to check out the features, make sure it works like it's supposed to, and then we're gonna check out some of the questions you asked and hopefully we can answer them for you. Went ahead and brought in our portable toilet and set it down in the camper. There's not a lot of room in here and I'm not sure if I'd actually want to use it in here. It's very cramped, really close to where people are sleeping. So I think that's why it's good to just grab by the handle and we'll go out in the woods. But while we're in here, might as well give you some measurements on where it's actually going to fit. So maybe you can look at your camper and decide if it's going to work there or not. It's 15 inches tall and then 15 and a half inches long and then 13 and a quarter inches wide. So while it's not as big as your toilet at home, that it's meant to be portable. It's supposed to be small, compact, and you can take it with you. So if it doesn't fit in your camper, you can take it outside. Now that we've got a little more room, let's check out its features. It's got a top cover and a foldable seat, just like your toilet at home. You got here is where you add the water because it can still flush on the go. Just because it's portable doesn't mean you can't flush it. So fill the water up to right about to where the cap starts, like down here. And once you've done that, this is how it flushes. I'm going to go ahead and open up this lever, which opens up the bottom for the waste to go into the gray tank underneath. That's where we, when we disconnect it, we'll dump that tank. But I want to show you how it worked. Every time you go to use it, you'll need to flush. And you'll do that by pumping this about 15 times. And what that does is build up air pressure inside. I'll go ahead and lift the seat up too so you can see it. Water will come out of there and help rinse out the bowl. So I'm gonna push this button here on the front and that's what activates it. So let's check it out. So not as powerful as your one at home, but it's nice to have that feature and still be portable. You don't have to hook up any power to this. There's no batteries or anything like that. It all works on the air pressure you make with this pump. Some other details you were asking about was the bowl depth. It's about seven inches from the top here to the bottom of the bowl. With it being portable, you might be worried about smells escaping or any issues like that. You can open up the gray tank. A good way to prepare it before you take it out on your trip is you open up that valve at the bottom and you pour your deodorizer right there into the bottom of the tank. That way it stays in there and helps break down any of the waste that's in there or the toilet paper will break it down. So when you go to dump it out, it's way easier than it would be if you didn't do it. A lot of you are asking, how can you tell if it fills up? Well, this one has a gauge here you can look at and see where the waste is through this little window here. Then you know when it's time to dump it. It seems like it takes about two days before you need to dump it, so just keep that in mind when you're going on your trips. Now that's full, let's take it apart. I'll flip it around. All you gotta do is pull out on this tab and the top half of the toilet will separate from the tank on the bottom. It helps to grab this handle to kind of push down on that while you pull up on that and it detaches very easily. I'll set the top, top part of the toilet aside. So one tip before you go to take it apart is make sure with the top half on there, you pull the handle all the way out and push it all the way back in. That way, just in case there's any waste on the top or any water, you get it dropped down in that tank. See the seal on the outside kind of acts like a squeegee and we'll push any of that off. And that way it's nice and clean when you go to pick it up. With it all closed up, you can just grab the handle. Now we can take this to our dump station to go ahead and get rid of the waste. And when we get to our dump station, you can just bring this pipe out here, unscrew the cap, and you can empty it that way. But the cool thing I want to show you is you can't accidentally pour it out. See, I didn't turn the switch on this valve, so that means it's not gonna let any waste out which is good just to show you just in case you lean over or something and you didn't pull this nothing's going to spill out or go anywhere you actually have to open up this valve to get the water out of there when you're ready to put it back together you just push it down 
it'll snap into place. See, I can't just lift it up. Awesome for when you go grab it by the handle and you don't have the top lid coming open. It snaps into place and I like that. Otherwise, if you didn't, that's what would happen while you're carrying it. And I don't think you want that. I'll do it again. So we're just gonna push down again. We'll listen for that snap. It sounds pretty audible to me. It's pretty loud. Now I know it's all connected. And we're going to put it back in our camper. In total, it weighs about 11 pounds. So that's not too heavy. It's easy to carry around. But remember, the more you use it, the more the tank's gonna get filled up. And whatever's in there that you're filling up with is gonna make it heavier. So maybe don't wait till it's completely full before you go and dump it. Maybe wait till it's halfway full or something where it's easy to pick up and take to the dump station. Another question we got a lot was about the valves and the seals. I didn't have any problems with it. When I was using it, I filled up with water, flushed it down in the tank. I was lifting it up, turning it upside down. When even when I separated it, I looked and saw the seals, wait for any of the water to drip back out. There wasn't a problem on our end here. Now, some things that you want to check is always make sure this is closed when you're opening and separating them. That way there's no water it can then leak through down in the bowl here. I can see that causing problems if you left that open when you go to take it apart. Just make sure that's closed. And just be mindful and be careful of it because I think a lot of it might be human error. If you just accidentally leave it open a little bit, there's going to be a little bit of leakage. So make sure you double, even triple check before you go to lift it up and dump it. All in all, I think the portable toilet's pretty nice. I mean, it all fits together really well. It's snapped into place. It flushes really easy. I like the air pump. That way it builds up air pressure and flushes that way. Compared to some of the other toilets in your camper or rigs, like a cassette one, you still have to install that in your rig and hook it up to fresh water. Some of them take batteries, and that way you have to have more stuff weighing you down when you're carrying it. This one's the great complete package because you don't need anything extra. You just grab this and take it with you. No installation. It's good to go when you're good to go. Now you've seen me talk about it quite a bit, but you should check out the conversation I had earlier with the riders today. Well, I, I, it's pretty self-explanatory, but considering that this is, uh, it might be pretty unusual. Like I know though there are a lot of options as far as portable toilets go. Uh, I know that this one's a little more complicated than some of the less glamorous options that are out there. So is it, I'm assuming it's, you know, from what I know, it's actually pretty simple to use. Yeah. Did you guys, did you guys were able to get it under your, figured out pretty easily? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's not simple. It's even got the directions here on the back just in case somebody gets confused and exactly the steps to do, but yeah, it's really easy to use. I researched some of the other ones online. Like you said, they had some other bells and whistles, but I think this is the better option because of how bare bones it is. You don't need, like some of them had batteries and stuff to tell you where the waste level would be. This one is not, no power or anything. You can really just take it and go. You don't need anything special for it. So I kind of like that part of it because if they're looking for a portable toilet, you want it to be as portable as possible and less than right. one you're trying to think about. They're like, oh, I brought it, but... I don't have the batteries, or uh, I don't have this other extra part, or whatever, you know? Right. I know that there's a level of, I guess, prep that you have to do for this type of toilet um, compared to just something that's, um, I think they have, like, some disposable options that, are, um, that aren't as high-end. So in order to get this ready, you need to, I guess, pressurize it and make sure there's enough water in it. Um, is that something you guys had to come across? Yeah, yeah. We pressurized it before we flushed it, and uh, we didn't actually put any chemicals in it to prep it either, though. You just we'll pull this and put the chemicals or the, the little tablets you could drop right down there into the tank and then seal it up. That way it helps break down the waste and stuff inside there. If you're probably buying this, you probably don't have too many options. I mean, you don't. maybe you have a camper that doesn't have a dedicated bathroom or... Uh, you just need something for some kind of emergency. So, yeah, we showed it in the the pop up camper right here, where you can't see inside now, but there's not a whole lot of space. We found one place you could actually put it. We kind of explained probably wouldn't want to use it in this cramped camper. We actually probably take it out to the woods and use it out there. So then we took it out and did the other half of the video in the woods. Right. Now, I'm kind of wondering if, if you were even able to test this. Um, one thing is that you don't want any sort of 
you know, nasty smells coming up from the holding tank that's on the toilet. We didn't get any of the solutions or anything important in here. Just, but, I mean, you just put it down in the tank and that's where it breaks down there. I did take it apart and move it around and check the seals and stuff. And there wasn't any leakage or anything when I was holding it. I had it up and shook it around a little bit with some water just to see if there was any droplets that fell. The only thing I think people might have an issue with is just making sure they double, triple check that this is pushed all the way in. Because when you go to take it apart, if that tank part's open at very little bit at the bottom, it's gonna you're gonna get spills or leaks, and it's gonna be bad. Right. Yeah. And I'm assuming it's not that heavy. It's pretty easy to haul around. Oh yeah, it's. I think it was what 11 pounds empty. Comes apart really easily. And it has a, a disposed spout, which probably makes it easier to empty. Yep. You just turn it to the side, take the cap off, pour it out. Another cool thing was that uh, this valve, you have to turn it open to let the water out. So you could turn it with a close. It's not going to leak out. So if you accidentally did trip or something or turn it, it's not going to just spill wherever you, you pour it. Right. With the open position, water dumps on my shoe. Yeah, it seems pretty easy to use. I mean, yeah. all things considering, because it does kind of, it does kind of give off a, a vibe of being a little bit. Well, since it's so higher end, I'd expect it to be a little bit harder to use, but it seems really simple. Yeah, it was. And all of the septic safe stuff is fine with this. The septic safe toilet paper and treatments and everything that you're alluding to before, those should all be good for this. Oh, yeah. Well, I know they make their own specific ones. I don't know about all of them. I only looked up the, the medic stuff. They had a deodorizer that we saw on the website, and they had some pellets that would work with it. And we're looking primarily at people who have, like, a small pop-up camper like this, or are we thinking, like, Van campers, overlanders, all of the above. All the, all the above, it seems like. Even boats. I saw that mentioned too, so. Cool. Do we know of any other, I know this is kind of the only one, or I think we might have another one from Dometic on our site, but do we know of other types or brands out there and how the Dometic compares? Uh, I didn't look up other Four ones just like this, but I did look up cassette style and compost style and kind of compared it to those. Those are usually attached or you have to run fresh water to them, so they're not really portable like this one. Yeah, so the cassette style would be like the next <laughs> step up as far as sizing, right? I mean, it's not yeah. a full-size toilet in a full-size RV necessarily. You're not going to run, you're not going to have a whole tank that you have to empty. It's just a small cassette tank like a suitcase that you'd pull out mm -hmm. and empty like you would empty this guy? Yeah. It's, I think it's essentially just a bigger version. I think essentially this would be the cassette in that mode. You just pull this out from underneath the camper or whatever your rig is and you go take it to the dump station like this. Anybody else got questions? Or any other thoughts on who's using this or why? I guess it's fairly self-explanatory, right? It's yeah. you need a toilet and you don't have one. Emergencies. <laughs> I've read a bunch of reviews online. Some people even just throw them in their car for long trips. If they, if they need a toilet, they got one. It just seems like, like you said, it just breaks down to just having this on the go anywhere you are. Cool. Beats digging a hole, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like all things considered, there. Like I was looking up some uh, some other types of, uh, I guess, portable portable facilities, and none of them were that I saw were near. This seems for a portable toilet. Like I said, it was pretty high end. Some of the other options are, I don't know, 
I guess primitive would be the word that I'm thinking of. More chamber pot like. <laughs> that's not that far off. I mean, yeah. yeah, this might be a weird question, but did you sit on it? Did it did it feel like a like a toilet? I mean, it looks like a toilet. Sounds like a dare. I guess I can sit on it. That's what you guys want. Just to get a feel for the size. I I mean, it looks comfortable (laughs) enough, right? Uh, It's better than uh, going against a tree, I guess. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Feel sturdy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was going to see how, how sturdy it was because it kind of, I don't know, it looks a little bit, you don't want to like, you don't want to like break off the lid or anything like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, the truth is, if you have bad knees, but you still like to camp, you kind of need to sit. I have bad knees and it's unpleasant. So anytime you have the option of having something where you can sit even in a place where you wouldn't think that you would need to because maybe you're just out in the woods camping for a weekend. I'm sure it would be helpful. So I think that does it for a look at the Dometic portable toilet. I hope this helped.